time, 3.46 p.m. We gotta go, my friends, because today is the long Labor Day weekend. Today is Saturday. My special post office closes at uh, in 13 minutes, so we gotta go and go quick, my friends, because if I don't get it into the post office before four o'clock when they close, then guess what, ladies and gentlemen? They're gonna have to ship it out on Tuesday, which means everything's majorly delayed. You know what I'm saying, guys? So we gotta get going, but we do have a new move in over our shoulders over here. Someone has plopped up, it looks like a fan on top of that trash can over there. I'm gonna slowly drove by it, drive by it, drove by it, drive by it, and see what it is. Current time, 3.59 p.m. We made it with some time to spare, my friends. And I can't help but tell you folks, even if you guys are not doing eBay, and let's say you're watching these vlogs and you're like, hey, Chris, I love the vlogs. I don't really do the whole dumpster diving thing or eBay thing. Hey, no problem, no problem, no problem. So if you're shipping stuff, guys, go to USPS.com, register and get a uh, account. And then what you do is you literally can do a print label right over the website. It will be cheaper than going to the actual post office and doing it there, guys. You can print it straight off of here onto your printer slap it on there and that way you don't have to stand in that long line because when i go in and i drop off my ebay auctions everyone's looking at me like oh my goodness gracious like how is he just putting it right there and then walking off like what's the deal what's his secret i used to ask this exact same thing when i was shipping stuff on for ebay and this was actually pre me knowing about it i would see people while i'm standing in a 20 minute line people just roll in they're just like bam right there and i'm like what's the deal what they know that i don't know you know what i'm saying Saying, guys well guess what day has got away from us but guess what well 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 look what we come back home to right there boom number one boom number two those are looking real nice it is boom 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 it is time my friends one two three four and five we got a lot of action in here so let's get straight in before we get into this action right here though guys I do want to show you someone wanted to see what this lamp looks like remember the USB power charging lamp this thing is actually really sick really hot High quality full aluminum almost looks like the back of an iPhone right there take a look at that all right so you got your LED light right there branches up folds down flat twists spivots and all that stuff up straight up anyway let's get to it guys so check this out so you hit your little power button there and then it has uh, blue light to warm light five different functions for a nighttime you know obviously you don't want to have the blue light for nighttime that messes up your melatonin before bed so you nice nice warm for nighttime you got like a delay thing in my bobber you can touch screen dim it look at that boom dim it and then like bring it back up boom look at that how cool is that huh power on power off there's even like a little night light here let's take a look at that real quick let's see hit that night light hit that night light come on baby night light is oh i guess the light has to be off first so there's the night light that goes up dimness of a night light right there and then boom 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 we come around the back side right there guys and focus 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 a little bit dark but that is a usb port right there so what you do is you plug your iphone cable in samsung cable in and you can charge your device that comes around the back side and then your cable's right there you plug in your phone boom you charge it i was actually charging something last night on that and it was actually pretty cool you know what i'm saying but ladies and gentlemen it is time for the big dogs all right my friend we are back in action here. Let's go ahead and start with one box, then the manila envelopes, and then we'll get to the big dogs because the big dogs are the most funnest. So, let's slice on it. And we got, we got, we got, we need some action in the books. Oh, very nice, my friends. Very nice. What do we got there? Is this by the... Who's this? Interesting. I don't remember them. <laughs> That's the name of the game sometimes in the review game, my friends. This, if you're wondering what this is, this is like big dog right here. Anyway, this is pretty much exactly what that is right there. The lights around the TV. This is another set. What's cool about this is that I actually need one. I'm gonna put it underneath my kitchen cabinets. That's gonna look really nice. We're already dialed in with the man cave downstairs. I could always use more. <laughs> more LED lights is better than nothing. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's get that out. 
Next up is gonna be a manila envelope, and these manila envelopes are awesome. As you guys know, I reuse these. I save 50 cents per envelope, you know what I'm saying? To each their own. I should be on the show Cheapskates, you know what I'm saying? They would they'd laugh at me, you know what I'm saying? But I don't like, I don't hoard. Do you guys ever see that Simpsons where I think it was Marge, they made fun of Marge being a hoarder, and she hoarded the uh, little plastic things for the pizza box so the pizza box doesn't crush the actual pizza? Call away, driver man. Wait, 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 wait. A perfectly good hot lather dispenser. Ooh, a pen from the Milwaukee Hilton. <gasps> Used pizza protectors. Oh, it was so funny, guys. Simpsons is the best. Well, not like all the time. They can get a little crude, but not like some of those other cartoons, those nasty cartoons. Be honest with you, there's some cartoons that are just foul. You know what I'm saying? I don't really watch that stuff, to be honest with you. Simpsons, though, that was cool. The only show my parents didn't let us watch growing up, though, we couldn't watch Married with Children. Every time we would have Married with Children on, uh, my dad would come in and he'd shut off the TV and he wouldn't allow that in the house. And I don't blame him. That's actually some interesting characters on that show. But, you know, a little bit funny, but kind of crude, though. You know what I'm saying? Each their own. All right, so let's go ahead and open this guy on up. Let's see what this is. What is that? I don't know what that is. Hold on one second. Let's figure this out. Very nice, guys. We got a bicycle light, which I'm gonna call it thingamabobber. I'm not doing a video on this, so let me show you what that is. Whoa, hey yo. This is a bicycle light set. Take a look at that. That's gonna go awesome. We got the front light, and then we got the little back light. This is the red one. Little clip-on light there. Very cool, I like that. Okay, next up. Here we go, manila envelope number two. And this one actually is able to open up a lot easier. So what I do is after I sell something on eBay, I'll put it back in the same envelope, I'll seal it like this, and then I'll put some tape around it like that, slap my label over the current label, covers it up, and then I'm able to use it. But if you do reuse packages, you just have to make sure that all the other like little barcodes are magic markered over so that the post office doesn't get confused and they allow that. What is this? Oh, very nice, guys. We're like in the bike game right now. So we got the bicycle light, and then this is a new pair of pedals for my mountain bike or whatever. Take a look at that. Sweet black on chrome. Nice little double action there. That is very, very cool. Take a look at that. There's the right, there's the left. Very cool. I think I'm all pedaled out. I think I got another two sets downstairs that I reviewed a while back as well. My brother's gonna be jealous. We might have to get a pair of my brother. You know what I'm saying? All right, this one is the finale because there's a lot in there and it just went ba-boom, ba-boom. What is this? What's this big dog right here? All right, let's figure out what this is. Okay, whoa, that's a big dog. Ugh. There's a lot in here, I think. I don't know, let's figure this out. What's that? Oh no, is that, oh, hey, take a look at that. Ooh, very nice. Very nice, guys, look at that right there. That is a dry, wet, 12 volt, dry, wet car vacuum and cleaner. You plug it into your cigarette lighter and then you can actually blow up your tires with this vacuum. Awesome. Are you joking me right now? That is amazing. But of course we have to put it to the test because it's not amazing, how do you close this thing? So it's not amazing until we put it to the test. Once it passes the test, then it's an amazing product. Until it passes the test, then it's just a product. Ah, my wife's texting me as I'm vlogging, my wife is texting me, she's on her business trip. She's vlogging her business trip. Maybe I'll uh, squeeze a clip in right now. Okay, trivia question. Guess whose guy right here behind me is? Look, he has a big old head. Dang, that's a big old head. Okay, just a little piece of information for you. He was the father of our country, first president of the United States. Dang, if you don't know the answer for this question, please come back to school immediately after watching this video. So anyway, as you can tell, she's having fun. She says, I'm addicted to vlogging now. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? It is addicting. It's fun. It's fun. You know what I'm saying? All right. So also, also in the box, we got this remote control set. If I'm in the garage, my wife's like, hey, dinner time. I'm like, all right, all right, cool. I'm coming right now. I just got to finish one thing. Uh, no, 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 no. Now, now the food's going to get cold. Current time, 8.18 p.m. We're taking a quick break, my friends. Time out for toast, peanut butter, and honey with some cantaloupe. Cantaloupe in my mouth makes the world go round. Guys, we're just bacheloring it up in here. As you guys know, 
my wife is not home. So when the missus is away, Christophero plays. You know what I'm saying? That's how we do business, baby. I haven't even put my clothes away from last week. You know what I'm saying? That's just how we do business. All right, my friends, we're back in the game. We're looking good and feeling good, energized up with the food in the belly and more packages to unbox here. Again, this is by... Wow, that's the best one in the world, my friends. It just slices right down the middle. So let's get on into it. Ooh, it's a big dog, it's a big dog. I didn't know a camera to look at. I didn't know that one or that one, you know what I'm saying? It's like two double paparazzi. All right, so, oh my goodness gracious, whoa, 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 whoa. One, two, three, four, five, five products. I think there's more coming too. Wow, wow, look at that right there. Look at that right there, what is that? I don't even know what it is. Oh, smart, oh wow. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Time out, time out. Put a little halt on the time with the outage, okay? We got, boom, five, five remote control outlets. Whoa, sweet. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five. You can just go, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, boom, 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 Okay? Then you have, whoa, 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 whoa. Look at this. Bam! We got one. And then, like, you turn it on, so you plug whatever you plug into on. There's five of them. And then you take this, you got double remote control. So it's like one side of the office, one side of the office. And then you go one on off, on off, all on, all off. Sweet, man. My goodness gracious. That is like, <laughs> this is better than my birthday. I don't even get this cool stuff on my birthday. I love my wife, but she doesn't get me that much cool stuff. She gives me eBay gift cards. You know what I'm saying? No, I was just kidding. So let's put that right over there for right now. All right. Oh my goodness. Okay, next up, we're gonna go, no, is there six? There might be six in here. What is that? Oh, gaming mouse. Look at that, cool. All right, next up. Hey, that's gonna be cool, huh? That is a uh, little uh, tripod thingamabobber. Hey, very nice. Next up is gonna be, a, oh, another smart plug, Wi-Fi smart plug. So this is a little bit different than the remote control one. This one, you plug whatever you plug into inside it, and then with the app, you turn it on, turn it off. You know what I'm saying? Not as cool as my Siri one. You guys remember that one? Where you just speak to it, and it turns on, turns off. And then lastly, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at this. What do we got here? We got a Anki uh, lightning cable, and then another lightning cable. So we got two Apple cables you can't you gotta always need more apple cables and then so those are my boys over at Anki Anki takes really good care of me they like they just like they just like clothe me in Anki products you know what I'm saying but I gotta review them all you know what I'm saying they don't just give them to me to open them up and be like hey look at that no, no no I gotta actually review them so you know there's a little bit of work involved but hey it's still cool all right what are we doing now? Don't know quite yet. What's going on guys? Current time, 12.33 a.m. in the morning. Labor Day weekend. We're looking absolutely fantastic. Tonight is Saturday night of Labor Day weekend. Guys, we're hunting all weekend long, but expect big things this weekend, guys. If you guys are watching this, go tomorrow. Go Monday night, go Monday afternoon. Definitely go because, ladies and gentlemen, there are gonna be some treasures out there this weekend, especially big weekends. People clean house. And it's 64 degrees Fahrenheit right now that's why I'm wearing a sweatshirt because it's actually a little bit chilly and I like wearing sweatshirts first stop is Ralph's got to pick up some off regiment food for tomorrow morning Sunday and that's what we're gonna do right now they're open till 1 a.m. instead of my Albertsons which is open only till 11 boo on you Albertsons but luckily this is near Office Depot so let's go all right my friends got in and out before closing we're looking absolutely fantastic something that I probably spend the most money on would probably be food in regards to products of course not because I review most of the stuff I actually would want or need now there are bigger things of course that are just not possible unless you're some celebrity or big big youtuber then of course you gotta buy those things now let me present to you my list let me put that seatbelt on because that is what's legal to do in the united states of america and i think worldwide so guys my list to you i present the list of things that i particularly would like and that i particularly <laughs> wouldn't get my hands on unless i was a big youtuber number one i mentioned it in yesterday's video the canon 70d because it has 
has autofocus. Number two would be the DJI Phantom 4. I'll settle for a professional three though. Third on the list would be a Canon G7X instead of this handheld point and shoot Canon S110. And most of these things are actually just for better quality vlogs and dumpster diving videos. A little bit more crispness, a little bit more HD in there, you know what I'm saying? Well guys, this is now starting to become the hot spot, one of my favorite complexes. Probably out of four complexes that I go to regularly, four or five, this is definitely probably the top three, definitely top three. This one has been producing a lot of nice furniture lately. And so let's go around and hopefully we'll find some more stuff. Well guys, like I said, that's where you get your bed frames right there. See that entire bed frame stacked up against right there? That is not as nice as mine, but that is a wood sleigh-ish looking bed. And that is a whole complete bed frame. Looks like a queen to me for sure. Very nice, but that's just proof you can get your bed frames right there. You could probably flip that bed frame, guys, for probably a buck fifty on the dot and probably flip it within one day. No joke, guys. All right, guys, this is the one over here. I've already passed by, so I already know it's there. But there was a guy with his window open up here, and he was, like, right there, so I didn't want to film it. So I'm just going to drive by real quick. It's in this can. This is the Gucci shoe that I found right here, that one black Gucci shoe. And we see a nice bookshelf right there. It looks like nothing else. looks like the rest is just garbage it looks like it's just garbage I might want to go in for a closer look but I think it's just stacked garbage people get a little lazy and they don't feel like throwing it away there's a bunch of water underneath probably garbage but anyway nice little Ikea bookshelf back there kind of cool Look at guys, with these mattresses right here in that bed frame, you got a whole entire bed set. Look at this. This is the second set of bed frames and box springs that I've actually seen in this complex tonight. Well, that was awesome. Sir, what do you got in the back of the car, sir? Just luggage, officer. Just luggage. Are you sure? Are you packing heat? The only thing I'm packing is my trash picker. You know what I'm saying? My trash picker. I told you my trash picker. Right there. I ain't lying. I ain't lying. I swear. I swear. Oh my gosh, guys, a coyote. No, he's gonna jump in the car. He just ran behind those bushes. Guys, coyotes. Oh my goodness gracious. No, I'm gonna roll up the window. <laughs> he just ran across the bushes. He's in the bushes. Guys, what if he just jumped in the car? Obviously with the windows up now, but I love coyotes. He's like, shut up, weirdo. You don't even sound like a coyote. All right, guys, this one right here, I actually found the vintage Burberry coat, and it was absolutely phenomenal. Sold it for great, great money. There was actually, hey, whoa, look at that. In my three years of living in this little community right here in this general area, I've never seen so many condos for sale. I think people are trying to cash in on their equity. You know, they probably bought maybe three years ago or so. Prices have gone up, not as high as they were back before the crash about 10 years ago, but you know, the prices went up and then all of a sudden, actually no, it hasn't even been 10 years. I think it was what, 08, 09, they really crashed kind of came back into play. And then I think they went down a little bit and like 2013 was a great time to buy, 2013 guys. That was when houses were cheap. But I've never seen so many people trying to sell their condos guys, but a lot of these ones in that complex I was just in have been sitting on the market. All right guys, current time 3.34 a.m. in the morning, baby. And we're looking absolutely fantastic, looking good. Definitely some sweet, sweet finds tonight. Again, Labor Day weekend, this is Saturday night. I didn't show you a mall just a couple sneak peeks you have to wait for the full episode of trash to treasure baby but there are some sweet digs out there and we're looking pumped up ready to do a little bit of diving tomorrow i do have to get up early on monday morning and so most likely i won't go out sunday night maybe a little itty bitty 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 bit on the way home from picking up natalie but most likely she'll be tired so she probably want to come straight home but that is okay my friends because monday night we're definitely going out monday night for a nice long hunt and remember two years ago that's when i found a ton of stuff monday night not Sunday night. All right, guys. God bless you. God protect you. Remember to carpe diem, baby, and live your dream. And I'll see you guys tomorrow, because tomorrow is the day, my friends. Later.
beard down to a Fu Manchu. Now, if your work is a little bit sketchy about you rocking a Fu Manchu, grow a beard out first and then trim it down like this. What we want to do is we want to go sideburn connected to the chin line, up to a mustache, down to the chin line, back up to the sideburn. Not straight, get a little curve on it, and you can keep the sole patch if you want to, but you know, we're gonna get rid of that. Again, gone. Right there, that's the basics right there.